So now we are on number three. And that is uh, the third way to use promises to handle asynchronous code. We have two new keywords, async and await. And generally, well, when you read online about promises and asynchronous code, the vast majority of people think, and I tend to believe too, that uh, it makes it easier to read asynchronous code. It makes it easier to use asynchronous code and think about and analyze your asynchronous code. So what do we do? All right, we have the same thing that we did before, but here in this case, I decided to use Axios uh, instead of fetch, node fetch. Um, so you will need to do down below, you will need to go uh, npm install. You need to enter this in your terminal command to install Axios, right? Um, and okay. So with async and await, you define your function and you put the async keyword in front of it. Now you can use the await keyword. You cannot use the await keyword except inside a function defined with the async keyword. Okay. Now what you do is you take your function that is asynchronous, your asynchronous operation. And Axios, this, this function call, this operation is asynchronous. So it will return your, a promise. So you put your await right before the function that returns a promise. And then the await, it will turn the result into a standard return value. Okay? as just like it's a promise that's been fulfilled. So if I'm expecting a bunch of text back from this URL, right, whatever this would normally return, I'm going to get it in result. And if we get an error or, or it will turn this into a thrown error. All right. And if, and so I put this in a try catch block and we know that one of these here, this domain, we know it's going to throw an error. We're not going to be able to successfully do our get request because this domain actually, it does not exist. This does not exist. And to show the asynchronous nature, we call this one first, but it's going to wait for five seconds, right? And we have one in China. We have a couple, in, one in China, um, one in Kazakhstan, Nebraska. Uh, bar, northern now uh, my server is in Miami and I, I happen to be traveling in Colombia right now I'm in this city so this one although I'm calling it last it should be first or not should be it's just very close to me I mean it's in the same city where I'm making this video okay um, let's see here all right, so now with Axios, it will return the result and then it will have a data property and that will be the web page content. And then I send that over to this parse HTML and we grab the title um, using Cheerio. Okay, and we're not going to go into Cheerio. It's essentially, it's something you use to scrape web pages. It's going to look at the text and it's going to grab the text inside the, it's going to look at the body, full text to the body of the uh, web page and grab the title tag. Okay. Um, okay, now also remember that um, these async and await, it's not blocking. So it will continue to loop through here. It will continue to loop through. And when one of these promises resolves later, when it uh, is fulfilled, then it will be sent to parse HTML. 
Okay, so let's try that. So there we got our error. Okay, so we can see here, let's take a look at this uh, Kazakhstan. Here's the one from the, it's in Kazakhstan, very far away. But uh, we called that the, you know, no, fourth in line, but we received it way down at the end. Um, and we can see here, our catch block says, nope, this domain is no good. And there's catch block says. So I think that's pretty straightforward. Um, now promises tend to be a little bit uh, tricky. You may, it may look right off the bat as though I can, these are really simple, but I encourage you to take the time to really dig into them and experiment a little on your own. Most of the time with code that we, we get online, it's pretty straightforward. But I think promises are just a little bit complex. Um, and I haven't touched on everything. And what we're going to do in the next video is build a promise from scratch. Um, when I type and talk, it messes me up. Sorry. Okay.